before we get into anything else, I, I want to go over our usual Monday morning injury report. There's yeah. not a lot to report on this week, which is great like news. banged up. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's so hurt. Nobody's, nobody's already nobody's hurt. playing. Yeah. No, it was really good. Uh, there were a couple of injuries, uh, a couple of lighter ones. Brandon Marshall and Reggie Bush both uh, went out temporarily with ankle injuries. Reggie Bush came right back. Brandon Marshall looks like he's going to be okay. So yeah. no need to worry about those guys. Uh, two to worry about. Um, Brandon Albert, Miami Dolphins, went down with what was originally sort of, there was some confusion. Was it an ankle? Was it a knee? He got rolled up on, I don't know if you saw it, Constant or Turtle. It was pretty bad. I think I may have saw yeah, it was pretty a, gnarly. A, little, a little highlight of it. Yeah. Anytime, anytime you can freeze frame and have a moment where you can see the kneecap pointing in one direction and yeah. the foot's pointing in a different one, it's always you nice. know that's not good. Yeah, this was uh, absolutely not good. So he's going to have some some knee damage. I think they're still doing an MRI to determine, but it'll probably be MCL, maybe PCL. You know, we could be like a multi ligament type thing. I'm sure his season is done. But the big one uh, for the week, uh, bad news if you're an Arizona Cardinals fan. Arizona is in the midst of their bid to be the first team in NFL history to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium. Yeah, they did win the game. Yeah, they did win the game. But Carson Palmer goes down with an ACL injury. He planted. He went for a play. He planted that front foot, and it buckled. And uh, I think we've lost Carson Palmer for the season. Uh, So the question for you guys is, with Carson Palmer down, do the Arizona Cardinals still at least have a chance? Yeah. I mean, they've got the record that should get them there at this point. They're 8-1 now? Yeah. So... Is there still a chance that the Cardinals can be the first team to play the Super Bowl in their home stadium? I think there's still a chance. It's not like their backup is that bad. I don't. I don't. I mean, of course, you want Carson Palmer there just because of what he brings to the table, but it, Stan's not that bad. Yeah. And there went. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like it's not Carson Palmer's not the reason they're winning per se. He's he's managing the offense which is what you want a quarterback to do. He's not throwing these miraculous passes in between three defenders, putting it in a perfect – you know what I mean? He's yeah. doing what he's supposed to do. So if Stan can come in and do what he's supposed to do, I think that offense is set up that it can keep trucking. Yeah, my only concern is that on a young Arizona Cardinals team, Carson Palmer is – which is weird to say at this point, but I guess he is now. He's sort of the, the veteran experience, right? He's the guy yeah. who can kind of help them through some of those more difficult situations. Not that he's not going to be in the locker room, but he's not going to be out on the field. But you got Larry Fitzgerald there, too, that's yeah, been you there do. for quite some time. And I, and I would imagine, I'm not in that huddle, but I would imagine that uh, even Carson would defer to Larry in certain situations. Yeah. And so Stanton is going to be getting messages in his helmet from the coach, from pa- Carson Palmer, and he has he has Fitzgerald in the huddle to keep things rolling, like keep him in check. Like, dude, don't freak out right now. We, you know, we can do this. Just throw me the damn ball. Yeah. And then that's what you do is throw him the damn ball. Yeah. But he's got weapons though. So there's it's a, there's a, what's that? There's also another connection. Uh, there's also another connection. So Drew Stanton and some people will know this, some people won't. Drew Stanton played under Bruce Arians over in Indy. Yeah. So. When they brought Drew Stan over to Arizona, he was supposed to be the starter, and then Carson Palmer became available, and they went and got him. So Drew Stan and Bruce Arians already have a connection. They already know how to work under. And when that, when your coach asks you to be your starter, yeah, it's bummer. You know, I mean, they got Carson Palmer. Look what happened. So it was obviously the smart choice. But I, I agree with you, Constance. I think they definitely have a chance. It'll be rough, you know. But you know, when your coach believes in your backup quarterback just as much as they believe in their starter. You know, of course, it could be media. It could be like, hey, I have to say these things. But I truly believe Bruce Arians believes in Drew Stanton and will provide enough for him to get there. Now, will the other team rally around Drew Stanton? That's the question. If Drew Stanton can get the team on board and have them play as if he was under, if they were playing under Carson Palmer, then hell yeah, they got a chance. I think they will, dude. I think you got a team that's sitting there that maybe at the beginning of the season they kind of told themselves, this year, this year. But they're now eight and one, and you better believe that they're all thinking, "Holy shit, this year, yeah, they're gonna rally around whoever it takes." They've only got one cake game left. Yeah, no, they've got a tough, they've got a tough road. Yeah, they've only got one cake game. They got the Falcons at the end of November in Atlanta. Yeah, you know, but other than that, like they got the Seahawks twice. They got the Seahawks twice. Yeah, and, and they're and on New the England. road. 
they're pretty much on the road versus all of the good guys, except for, yeah, they got the Seahawks twice, so they'll see them once at home. Right. And luckily, they'll see the Chiefs at home. But uh, other than that, is you're off to Seattle, you're off to Atlanta, you're off to San Fran. You even got uh, the Rams is kind of uh, Rams is one of those games where you'd like to say it's a cake game, but at that late in the season it may not be because then they might just want to be giant killers right. and just get it up for you. So I don't want to call that a cake game, but they gotta go. They gotta go see the Rams too. Yeah. So it it's gonna be tough, but I I, I don't know. I I think they have enough weapons. Yeah. I think they. Have I hope so. Weapons. I'd love to see it. It'd be a fun story. It'd be a fun story to see him get to the Super the, Bowl. The same a similar conversation can be had about Mark Sanchez and the Eagles. There you go.